Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalower, and thank you for joining me here. So today, we're going to continue playing as the New California Republic, and finish off Kaisar's Legion. Now, this will be great news once we're done with him, but we have some not-so-great news as well. Mostly because, well, I mean, I guess last time, the Yakuza people declared war on us, but more importantly, and this is something I wasn't aware of yesterday, the Brotherhood of Steel is going to demand the Bay Area, which I assume is like this area down here, or over here. So, with that in mind, Stolen Secrets, Seize the Military. Huh. Steel Rain, Demand the Bay. They're going to demand Bay Territory, I think from me. I think it's from me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's from me. So, yeah. If they go to war with us, that would be good. Since we're in a war with them, they're literally in our faction, and that wouldn't be very cool. So regardless, let's continue playing on and smash Kaisar's Legion, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So, at the end of this war, here's what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to give the NCR Rangers Pinaka, Pinakate, I don't know how to pronounce it, but we'll give them Yuma as well because they both, because the NCR Rangers have cores on both of these provinces and regions, so... That'll be good to give them, give this territory to them. Um, I'll give them the, all the White Legs territory. New Reno will be given, I guess at this point, Yakuza territory. So that'd be kind of nice for them. Uh, the, oh, the Jackals were up here at one point. So I'll give probably New Reno all of the Yakuza territory. I'll give the Rangers all of the White Legs and the territory down here. And I'll probably just annex the rest. Maybe minus some of the regions up here with the Mormon Alliance. So that'll be pretty cool. And we can invite, of course, Ruby Ridge, or Ruby Valley Refuge, into our alliance. So, yeah. So, really, at, in the end, my goal is to go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel, as well as Mojave Chapter, and probably take out New Vegas, and then probably call it a campaign. There's campaign. This will probably be one of my shorter campaigns, just because... Super Mutant Club, huh? Just because I... This was my first real experience with the Old World Blues mod, and I've been, I, I said like yesterday, I was playing as a Kaisar's Legion at one point, very, very fun. I've heard that playing as an Enclave might be super, super fun, or you could play as some of these other smaller uh, countries as well, so I'll definitely be looking into that, just seeing how everything works, what cool things there are to do, and who to really play as. So right now, obviously I'm trying to call an Audible here, and trying to rush divisions to help, so, oh... Oh. Okay, well, never mind then. The Brotherhood's ultimatum. After the worrying news of the Brotherhood annexing the She-Reached sa Shady Sands, it was almost immediately followed by demand from the Brotherhood themselves. Looking to finally secure their grasp on the Bay Area once and for all, the Brotherhood are demanding that we hand over control of Point Green to them. Point Green, while not rolling any respect, is also not a significantly important part of the NCR as a whole. The Brotherhood have assured us that handing over the new area would be a strong step in the right direction for future cooperation. So I give them Point Green... And the bay. And that's over here. It's not really that useful. Um, they become owner, they become controller, they get a core. And, or we can say a hell of that. Well, honestly, I, I literally just moved all my divisions away from their borders. But we're almost done with Kaisar's Legion. Like, Kaisar is almost effectively dead. So, um, hold on. Let me think about this first. We want one massive front against Kaisar's Legion. And because of this, Chief Hanlon, I need you to immediately send forces to Lost Hills Bunker. At least have one front. Now, how many days do we have until we can respond to this? We have 12 days, and we'll respond within 12 days. So I'm not going to respond to them immediately. Rangers would also be a nice thing to send up there as well. But there's really no good point for me to send them anywhere. Just in case things really go south... I think our main army can take care of Kaiser's Legion. Go ahead and station for you, you four divisions up here. Since we have divisions occupying parts of Yakuza territory. Or defending against them. Alright, very good, very good. Alright, let's see. Ooh, we got some nuclear salvaged fighters. Very nice. Go ahead and throw you onto the Rangers. Um, salvaged fighters. Give me some of those boys. Those boys. Chief Hanlon. 
salvaged fighter. Go ahead and throw you onto the main armies here. Actually, don't do that. I'm going to send probably this fighter group up to the Yakuza territory and then give these guys some dive bombers and then some scrap dive bombers. They don't have the range for it, but that's okay. We'll come back and look at them. Uh, the high chapels? Uh, sure. Non aggression pack for now sounds pretty good. We're doing augs good in the boneyard for now. We have 10 days until we can respond, and that 10 days is going to be very important for me to make sure I get all my soldiers wherever they need to be. For, and I'm also going to make sure that a lot of our guys are getting to the point where they need to be. And give them a few seconds. Oh wait, we're actually out of guns. Okay, so maybe not just quite yet. Okay, maybe just do it anyways. Just because Kaiser really can't do very much about it. Go ahead and do this, just because we might not win every battle, but we should win enough of them. Two days. Oh, actually, you guys have been surrounded. Nice. Single division. Right? Yeah, single division. Two days. And one days. No. I'm not giving you territory. Uh, sure, give me that. Throwing you over here. Oh, they guys... Oh, so the NCR Rangers and New Reno already took them out. Great. Actually, now we can... Really go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel if they choose to do so. You guys do that. There's no way for them to get over here immediately. Unless they navally invade me, which wouldn't be very cool. You guys will come over here. Do this. Hopefully you guys can make it fairly quickly. And then you guys will come down here. And Coast Guards, you did a great job so far. But, you know, just in case things happen, you know. Uh, is there any other ports? I think, yeah, there is a port up here. Well, we might as well do the entire area, just in case. Just in case. Nice. Yeah, do that. Might as well. Awesome. Now go ahead and keep pushing, guys. I know, I know, I know. This isn't very good for us. To keep pushing, to keep pushing. Oof, there are guns. More reinforce rates. That's good. Uh, more organization sounds pretty nice as well. I mean, even though we're losing guns... Kaiser can't replace. They're down to less than 2,000 manpower and less than a full army group. That's pretty bad for Kaiser. He's got to be giving up soon. They are only 74% of the way towards capitulation. And it looks like the Brotherhood might not go to war with us over the Bay Area, which is kind of nice. Let's see, air, air Doctrine, we're doing pretty well. Land Doctrine, we're done with. Vehicles. <clears throat> More max speed, less reliability. Less reliability. Supply use. More reliability. Huh. Support equipment. Oh, let's get some logistic companies. Logistic companies are very, very important. And what are the Brotherhood up to now? Now, with the Brotherhood making their decision, I view that as a threat. And threats must be contained and destroyed. So. Yeah, this actually looks really nice over here. All's good in the boneyard. Hmm. Today I also have some coffee from Starbucks. Pretty good. I guess it's a day old by this time. I'm drinking it. Pretty good. Black coffee, of course. Um, I need gun runner licensing, so actually I don't need it, but that'll help. Conversion speed bonus. Eh, actually, that doesn't give us that much of a boost. More reliability and soft attack, but that's pretty much it. Let's get Barons of the NCR. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Alright, so we had a couple of planes down here. Army 1, Army 5. You're standing by as a fighter. Go ahead and move to this guy here. U300. I'm going to put 200 with Chief Hanlon and put you next to him. Oh, and it looks like we have this area exposed and opened. <clears throat> Would it be possible for us to take as victory points faster than they can get victory points back? Oh yeah, they aren't even doing very much any of anything anyways. Good, good, good. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Frogman, nice. Just go for all the victory points at this point. Uh, let's see, over here, it looks like we're having a machine gun division from one of our allies. Come over here, come up here. Oh my goodness, they have so much territory. Uh, does anyone have, like, there's a motorized division. Twin Mothers. Bastion, Pueblo, I doubt we'll actually have to go all the way up through here, but whatever. Get to Dog City, that's a lot of 
encampment are up here. Go ahead, do that. The Kaiser's Legion will be beaten down here, which will be good as well. So it looks like the Brotherhood decided not to go ahead and fight us. Thank you very much, Brotherhood. What do we have here? We got two battle a battleship, a heavy cruiser, and a couple light cruisers. Very nice. Just throw you onto here. Gotta love coffee. So, uh, how many ships does the Brotherhood have? Because we will go to war with them. I will promise you that. We will go to war with them. Uh, not that many ships. They have, more, they have less ships than what Kaisar have, but their ships are probably better. They don't have a lot of planes, surprisingly. They have a lot of manpower, but not a lot of planes for a very technologically advanced nation. Puerto, oh, I could have gone to war with these guys as well, but... Honestly, if they're not going to fight me, but they have no reason to fight me, then I'm not going to fight them at the moment, since the Brotherhood is really my main goal, and then that's basically the end of the campaign from there. Cool. And we got Port Stockton. Awesome. These, these guys have to be done soon, right? They have to, you know, die off eventually. Do that. The Boneyard. Sounds great to go to this time of year. Awesome. Come on, guys. Just... Oh, the Kaiser's Legion is pretty much done and over with. Cool. So, um... With that in mind, I'm going to mark down what time it is for me right now. And I will see you guys in a few seconds as I do this peace treaty. So, with that in mind, I will be back in just a little bit hey guys uh, thank you for joining me back here um, yeah so right now as you can tell we have the good old NCR and some of the Mormon Alliance in the north and as well there is also the Brotherhood in the west yeah this is the west coast anyways so this is the peace deal peace deals here so right now I have mostly taken Kaiser's land now that being said uh, as you can tell, I've liberated more than just Yuma and Penacate to the NCR Rangers just because, you know, I thought that they're part of the NCR. I mean, we have our own country and they kind of have their own autonomy to a degree. I thought that they could use more territory just because, you know, they're part of our group of people here that are basically will be integrated into our country one day. Anyways. So, they're up here. They took out most of the White Legs territory. Not all of it. I gave the Mormons and the Tar Walkers some territory. Um, even the Grand Tribes got Southern Great Khan territory. I personally took the North Passage just because, well, I'm going to pacify those Khans, like it or not. So, I also gave New Canaan because they're, I think, the primary Mormons here. Some territory as well as the Crazy Horns. And the biggest thing here... Well, actually, let's just say New Reno, I gave him most of the Yakuza territory anyways, just because, why not? And then, yeah. So we have the Phoenix Republic and the Red Sun Republic, just because these were the only two Republic-named countries that I saw in my occupied list. Probably this was a terrible idea, I don't know. But I did it anyway, just because it said Republic, and they're the only two besides the Baron's Republic that I could release. And I thought, you know what, we're the NCR. We've had a lot of problems with trying to keep people together so i figured that we could have the phoenix republic and eventually have the phoenix republic basically become the new state of cal not california but the new state of arizona like what the state of arizona was for the united states of america so i decided you know what they're under our jurisdiction and anything we say will go accordance with what they do so basically this will be a new state of arizona eventually over time if this would this campaign would continue, I would give them more and more territory over the years so that they would be a fully functional part of the new United States or new California Republic. So that's basically what I did over here. And the same idea with the Red Sun Republic. This would be like a New Mexico or something. So I'm going to start them off small. I still have a lot of factories I can use. And they're both my puppets. And they're the people... They're following the people ideology. So I figured, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun. That would be kind of cool, so... We have Arizona, the beginnings of an Arizona state, under us, as well as New Mexico. So, that's actually, I think, pretty cool. Anyways, right now, what we're going to do is basically begin to take out the last faction in the game that would seriously oppose me. Because once the Brotherhood of Steel and her allies are gone, it's all over. So, and then I might start a new campaign relatively quickly. This will actually be one of my shortest campaigns ever. So, right now, I've told Chief Hanlon to go around and surround the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, over here, because we have our main army, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys to not worry about too much. Don't worry about too much. Actually, you are all defenders. 
I really don't need defenders. I just need some pretty good infantry. And seeing as I am running out of guns and stuff and equipment, I could get rid of them. The supply isn't super great. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is this. Give me eight of you guys. You're going to come over here. Let's get a new leader since I have so much political power. Here's an Ezekiel. What I'm going to do is this. Put you under him. You guys are all going to face this direction. Now, someone told me in the comments before, and I didn't, I didn't acknowledge this earlier. He said, or she said, or whoever said, you should add some anti-tank to your divisions. Well, my friend, if you knew me, or you watched this a little bit earlier, you would realize I put anti-tank on every single one of my divisions already. And they have 38 piercing, and that's more piercing I have than what the Brotherhood of Steel has for armor in each and every single one of the enemy's divisions. So, I mean, I'm pretty good with that already. So, not bad, not bad. Uh, go ahead and come over here. You guys are going to hold the islands. Good luck with that. Uh, you're definitely going to need some more infrastructure down here. Some planes. Do we have enough air bases? We might not. Do that. And I've also told, go ahead and told my guys to build up some roads. Do that and do that. That should be pretty nice. Pretty good. So we have our main... Ar Ooh. Main army. Uh, maybe instead of eight, give me two of you guys. And I'm throwing you over here. Yeah, let's do that. So. Now, obviously, I'm going to split all these guys up. But, let's see. Cassandra Moore did pretty well for us. So, she'll come over here. Do that. You will... Actually, you know what? We could probably split up some of these armies, to be honest with you. Take half of you guys. Actually, you know what? Just... Uh, you're level three. You're level. Th oh, you're both level three. You use less supply, so I like that immediately. Uh, do you have any special skills? You're harsh leaders to so get more attack, but Jeffrey Castillo has nothing. Hmm. Do I want more attack, or do I want less supply consumption? Because because supplies consumption is going to take a lot of. Uh. Be pretty important since the territory, the infrastructure here is pretty bad. So go ahead and get rid of Joe O'Malley. He did a great, great job. And actually, I'm going to give Joe O'Malley a promotion. Or no, Jeffrey. I'm going to give Jeffrey a promotion here. In which he's going to get even more attack. Glorious. Cool. So you guys are going to do great. Let's see. We have two 24 stacks here. You guys will be stationed down here. We're all going to have a great time destroying the Brotherhood. And you guys will come over here as well. Beautiful. And which Joe O'Malley has the remainder of the soldiers to attack their brotherhood's little baby division or country of Arroyo. The chosen one. The chosen... chosen one. Hmm. Alright, well, interesting. Develop the outer world. I mean, outer city. I can't wait till the outer world come, comes out. Anyways. Yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. So, now let's go ahead and get ready. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these guys out of my faction. Oh, wait, they're not in my faction. Oh, they had their own faction. So... Wow, that takes a long time for us to get there. Um, okay, so... Nurino and Grand Tribes took their divisions back. That kind of sucks for some of our divisions. But, nothing too harsh. Honestly, I really don't need this many of these, so... Bring it down to two. Come over here. Join the coast. They've done a great job. NCR Troopers, come over... Here, why not? And NCR Troopers, come over here. Oh, and I, I was making more NCR Rangers, huh? <clears throat> Interesting. Ruby Valley Refuge. Huh. I guess I could have gone to war with Genta to Sol, but I don't really care. So be it, so be it. So really, I like that the NCR Rangers stayed with us the entire time. Well, at least for now. So, really cool. Really, really cool. Wasteland Production Agreement. Oh, they have to be allied with the Brotherhood. Uh, okay, so the Crazy Horns decide to get rid of our uh, pact. Oh, they really hate. Oh, they really hate us. Oh, I generated a lot of world tension. Well, I have a lot of political power. Let's go ahead and improve our relations with them. Yeah, there's a lot of Mormons. Oh, and I will take out New Vegas. No, don't you forget, or I won't forget that I need to take out New Vegas. Oh, I can still go to war with them immediately. Let's do that. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Um, since we're going to prepare for a war with the Brotherhood, taking out New Vegas probably won't be an extremely terrible thing. So. Yeah. 
Go ahead and do that. Oh, occupied territories asked for independence. Not too long ago, our forward operations base within the Legion received a telegram asking for a diplomat to be sent to Red City. Red Sun City. When this diplomat arrived, he was brought to an important conference hall where delegates from numerous communities awaited him. He spent hours with these people before returning to us, and his report makes it very clear they want freedom. Many of these fledgling nations have at some point been recognized by the NCR. Propaganda agencies hired by our government have, at one point or another, spread at least one poster. Oh. Uh, oh. Spread at least one poster about the city, god dang it, of Phoenix, or written a piece of the Jicarilla people. Although leaving the territory unoccupied could cause some trouble, going back on our work could cause even more. What should we do? We must stay. They'll just reform the Legion. Um, it depends who's... Because I already... I've I literally already liberated the Red Sun Republic. So I'm fine with them being here. The city of Phoenix. I've already liberated the Phoenix. <sighs> I'm not going to call my soldiers. But I will give them a, some independence. I'm going to say... They must stay. If they rebel, then I'm just going to go to war with them then. I mean, it should be okay. I mean, I did liberate two regions here, so. Ah, uh, the Rangers break our alliance, saying that we've broken the code of ethics and turned into another legion. How dare they? NCR refuses to relinquish legion gains. Welcome back to the program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I hope I'm not coming on too strong. More news for you. The NCR has been under heavy criticism today after they prematurely ended negotiations with the representatives of fledgling nations occupying the former legion territories, citing the in ineligibility of the gathered nations to govern themselves. Radio, Radio New Vegas reached out to the NCR embassy in New Vegas, but they declined to comment on the matter. For better or for worse, it seems that the three-state area will remain under NCR's control. That's the news. Ladies and gents, the next song comes out from me to you. What do you want me to do? I've already liberated you! Or at least two of you guys! Baby, why won't you love me? I mean, you're literally republics that I... You know, gave. Return expeditions, whatever. So, the Desert Rangers have literally just abandoned us. After I gave you territory, after I thought that you would be friendly with us because of what I've done for you. It, it sucks to be backstabbed. It really sucks. But the show must go on, regardless. Alright, so, uh, we got some planes here. I want, oh my goodness, salvage dive bomber. Salvage dive bomber sounds like a fun thing. Scrap dive bomber, but salvage dive bomber sounds like more fun. Let's do that. Actually, since you're chief handling, you might as well be here anyways. That'll be good. And salvaged fighter. Salvaged fighter. Ooh, this looks like a special salvaged fighter. Go and come to Chief Hanlon anyways. That should be more than enough for us to take these guys out. Can I invite a faction? Ruby Valley Refuge. You know what? We lost the Desert Rangers. And, oh, actually, they're sent volunteers to the ref... Oh. So they're still fighting the Pale Folk. Alright, well, maybe I won't invite them just yet. Cool. So, before anything else breaks out... I'm going to need my soldiers to get over here. Oh, look at all these guys moving through. And tell you guys to go ham. Mr. House. Your armor will not be enough, to hopefully, to stand up to us. And we can definitely dominate them in the sky. So go ahead and do this. Oh, they're definitely going to take this territory out. Do that. And sure, do that. Let's see. Oh, Logistics 2. Very nice. And I get Logistics 3. Can we pierce them? Kind of. Some of our divisions can. The Gamma Corps can't. This infantry division cannot somehow. But we have more than enough <clears throat> uh, divisions that can pierce them to really make a difference. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this might have been a bad idea. So it appears that our refusal to end our occupation didn't go down well with everyone. Soon after the announcement was made, the Finnish Republic began declaring itself for war. I literally liberated you. It sent messengers to two of its neighbors just before the conflict began, and together they combined the forces to target Hoover Dam. However, perhaps by giving Yuma a favorable IOU, they managed to procure a hauser for the siege. However, although little damage was done to the dam itself, they killed many soldiers and retreated with their artillery in tow. We didn't expect them to continue to harass our forces in the future. Preparing for a counterattack will take time, but their days are numbered. You can tag switch to the hang dogs later if you wish. I am the Phoenix. Guys, guys, what? The... Man. 
I literally liberated you from the clutches and gave you freedom. Liberated you from the other guys. That's bull, man. Jeez, come on, man. Well, it looks like we're going back here, and we're going to have another fight. And this time, I'm not going to liberate you and actually probably turn you into a bunch of slaves if I have to. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. Uh, if I can, I'd probably come over here. I think I can go through Western Tribes territory. They're still part of us, which is good. So right now, we have New Reno with us. We have the Klamath with us. And I'm going to have to take out the Desert Rangers eventually, because that's ba that's just backstabbing me. Flagstaff. Come on, man. Declares war... Declares war for independence for what? I gave you freedom. North Arizona sides with the rebels. More rebels will send more supplies. Wow, really? So soon after the news of the Phoenix Republic's armed rebellion had begun to spread, numerous forces started to flock to their banner. Two tribes, one of which is led by a former Legion commander, an enemy of the NCR, and a group of ranchers operating in North Mexico and formerly subjugated by the Legion. Although not particularly dangerous, adding fuel to the fire is never a good thing, and our enemies have more soldiers at their disposal is the last thing that we need. Our army is beginning to respond to the threat, but the Republic's forces have been prioritizing the capture of key locations. This could be worse than the Baron's War. You know what? You rebel against me. I give you freedom. I literally liberated you against our enemies. And this is how you treat me? This is literally how you treat me? I gave you freedom. And you just turn back. Turn back against me. And cause another war. That's it. No, no, no. There's no freedom for people who rebel. They treat your liberators like this. No. No. No, 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 no. If this is how democracy dies, then so be it. If I have to turn this republic and to the First Galactic Empire, then so be it. Now I kind of wish I didn't go to war with uh, Mr. House. Or New Vegas. Oh well. Um, let's see. Junk Town, Civilian Factories, Hub Crime, the Hub Prospers, City Reborn. Uh, let's go with Sack City Reborn. <sighs> yeah, this is BS. Uh, opposition forces swell. Fighting continues in the north of Arizona as our forces clash with the rebels and small skirmishes along the contact line. Farther into Arizona, along with the New Mexico border, two more tribes have risen, risen up to defy us. Although not particularly threatening on their own, alongside the forces of the ever-expanding so-called Phoenix Federation, they become a concern. As if the current situation wasn't bad enough, however, a more dangerous foe has appeared. Tucson, one of North Mexico's more powerful nations and a former Legion territory, has declared war on us. Tucson's army and expertise will aid the rebellion greatly, and the fact that we're fighting with a nation who formerly opposed the Legion doesn't look good for the public. Oh, is this how the country dies, huh? And someone else is probably rebelling. Sympathizers rise up in New Mexico. Um, with a package addressed to the garrison commander. Soon after he left, however, the package exploded. And in confusion, as our men attempted to help with the wounded, the Red Sun's Republic mercenary army descended on the garrison. Stories like this are becoming more and more common as the underhanded tactics of the Legion's most influential traitor are added to the rebellion's toolbox. Not only with the Red Sun Republic, but the numerous Mexican na nations join the Phoenix Federation. Our occupation of the area cannot be maintained for any longer. We are no longer in control. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is just bull. This is absolute BS. I liberated some of you guys, and this is how you repay me. Terrible. And the Phoenix Republic are my enemies. No? What? No? You know what? If I have to, I will liberate areas in the north. I will liberate the Hangdogs as kind of a counter. Because I, I have no divisions up there, so... I'm going to go ahead and liberate these guys. And see what happens after that. Black Sun. Actually, let's see. Before I end this episode... I will liberate all these guys, because I'm going to need someone to have some sort of forces around here, probably. And I can always re-annex them later, so. Looks like the Black Sun is next. Black Sun and the Summer's Federation. Black Suns, eh, I release the Summer Federation. Black Suns. Uh, there it is. Up next is... Jakarta, Jalara, the J-Word... Hopefully someone here will get enough people so they can actually defend, so. Twin hairs. 
This is just so much BS. It's not even funny. Like, this is stupid. Like, I liberate you, and this is how you treat me. Raiders join the war for independence. War occupation devolving into a free-for-all struggle to survive a mass rebellion. Many of our forces have lost men, equipment, and morale, trying to make their way to friendly territory and regroup. Today, that became even more difficult, as of all New Mexico fell to the rebel forces, many of our troops being caught and killed by the Phoenix Federation's new citizens. The Summers Federation, well known for its capital and surrounding borderland, being a dense of scum and lawlessness, has put bounties on the heads of NCR officials, both high and low, in the command structure. Their neighbors, Black Sun, have almost enthusiastically joined in on the slaughter of our troops, and the Phoenix Federation has rebelled completely. Okay, so I liberated all that for nothing. So basically, this is going to be Legion 2.0. So basically, I'm going to have to kill literally everyone over here and make it into new colonies. So be it. So be it. This is how they treat us. After we liberated, literally liberated them, they decide to rise up for themselves and be a bunch of garbage people. Alright. And we already took out New Vegas, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, who's actually at war with us? So basically, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to reconquer all of Phoenix Republic's land, even though I gave them freedom. Limited freedom, but it's still freedom, regardless. Let's see, Hanlon. Where's my Hanlon? Uh, who are we actually at war with? We're actually not at war with anybody yet. All right, then. Um, yeah, you guys gotta get out of here. Oh, you think you help people out. But this is how they treat you. Um, I already have people down there. Can I just go to war immediately? Uh, wait, I have a non- I do not have a non-aggression pact with them. There's no way. No flipping way, man. Yeah, this is BS. I mean, come on. Uh, well, regardless, we got to end this episode here today. I really wanted to go to war with the Brotherhood, but you know what? The Phoenix Republic has backstabbed me and all of their allies, so... Next time, we're going to have to go to war. And I'm going to have to just basically brazenly murder everyone here. With that in mind, guys, though, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will plan our assault back into the heart of the Legion. Thanks for watching.